What's up guys? Today we're back with another video. Today we're back working with the landscaping company. So let's hop in the F-250, get on over to the shop, and let's get the day started. Today guys, we've been hired by a local property owner. He actually owns an abandoned racetrack. He said it hasn't been used in over five years and he wants us to go bring a brush hog and get it cleaned on up. He said some areas of grass is two to three feet tall and he really wants it to look good again because he wants races to be back on Saturday night. So that's going to be what we're going to be doing today and it should be a pretty fun one. Probably a little bit of exploring, a little bit of fun while a, a lot of work mixed on in here. Let's get on over here to the shop. Let's kind of choose what people of equipment is going to work best here for us and let's get on over there and get it started. Alright, let's get the shop door opened up and take a quick look here. Now, we do have a few brush hogs for both the skid steers and the compact tractors, but let's take a look. I think we do have a few projects coming up with both the skids, so I'm thinking, why don't we take the Kubota tractor here, guys, and see this is the Kubota L3901, and we do actually have a brush hog here. This should be perfect for us, so let's get the truck and trailer set up, and why don't we, uh, since we already have the F-250 on, why don't we just use that here today, but there is a full mod list up on my website if you guys like to go check it on out every single mod we use is linked over there and if you do want to see more please hit the like button it's much appreciated as it does help out with the youtube algorithms since we're going to be taking the tractor with the brush hog, I think it's probably best for us to take the uh, gooseneck trailer here. It's probably going to be a little bit easier. It's only about a 20 to 30 minute drive. It's not too far, but the goosenecks, I will say, guys, are really easy to tow with. Probably a bit of a better ride as well, uh, just how it works on out here for us. But I've been really excited for the landscaping season. We have so many jobs lined up. We are booked for months on end. We do have some kind of hardscaping with retaining walls. We have a lot of lawn care to do with 70 plus clients and it's going to be a pretty epic season here for us but let's get those ramps dropped and let's get the Kubota ready to go there we do need to get it ready on the brush hog but uh, a few days ago uh, one of the employees was actually kind of making uh, sure everything was greased ready to go so that's good let's get it fired on up now I think the Kubota will probably be the best machine here since it is abandoned if there's any trees down, really anything we could use the front part to kind of move it around it and uh, to kind of get anything cleared on up for us which should be good but let's get backed up here. This is an 84 inch brush mower and this thing can do some serious work which I'm really excited for bringing and it is kind of towards the top of the power uh, for the Kubota as well. It requires I think like 80 horsepower so it's a lot and this tractor is perfect here. Now we don't really use a tractor for for much but jobs like this I'm always excited to use it and put it to work Alright guys, I'm thinking we're actually going to get this backed on. We have to make sure the weight is properly distributed here. Otherwise, uh, tone is probably going to be a little bit harder here for us. Now we do have to get it backed on. Looks like we're scraping the ramp just a bit. Hopefully, we don't end up damaging the, the brush hog here. But no problem going right up. And yeah, this will be perfect. That way, the majority of the weight is over the axles of the trailer, not on the tongue. Which should be perfect. Let's get that lower down. That, that seems right about there. Perfect. Alright, just put the ramps up there. Let's put a few straps here on it. That way we don't lose it going down the road here. Really do like that. I wish more and more machines here in Farm Sim had it, but I do believe that we could actually change the straps to chains. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing here. But since we're taking our truck, I'm actually pretty excited here for it. Although this is kind of a work truck, having a crew cab with uh, just our daily is the way to go here. But I'm going to hop in the office really quickly, and I'm also going to shut that door, and then we'll see you guys on the road. This is a pretty heavy load here for the F-250, but it is still a work truck even though I do use it here as a grocery getter. But if you guys do want to see more here, please subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers, which I'm really excited for here. But about 20 to 30 minutes, so I'm going to put down the camera for a bit and we'll catch you guys back when we're only a mile or two away. 
Alright guys, we're only a few minutes away here from the racetrack, and I will have to say guys, this is one pretty sweet setup, and I will also say this is one of my favorite trucks and farms, and this F-250 is pretty sweet, but look at that guys, it looks like we have arrived here, it looks like the gates are closed, I'm gonna have to give them a phone call, maybe, yeah, there's a key laying around somewhere here, but look at that guys, this is gonna be a pretty fun one, these abandoned videos are always so much fun here, we definitely wanna do a lot more, it looks like uh, there is actually uh, looks like security uh, team here making sure the property is safe and I think oh uh, whoa look at that there's trees in the driveway here so I'm not sure I'm gonna hop on the phone really quickly there's probably a key laying around maybe I just have to uh, just type a pin in to get this gate opened on up here but we definitely can't make it through the small ones hopefully this big one is gonna get opened up here pretty quickly Alright guys, I just grabbed the key from under a rock and here we have it. It's now opened on up here. We're all ready to go, so I'm thinking why don't we uh, kind of get it unloaded and then we'll take a quick walk around here. One thing is for sure, we definitely don't want to be tearing up the brush hog running over anything here. It's a pretty expensive one and it looks like that power gate is working. It looks like it's on sensors, which is a pretty neat thing. Ooh, come on in. This is a pretty tight uh, gate here. Luckily though, uh, we didn't have to kind of squeeze the other one here, but wow, this looks like a pretty cool racetrack now one thing guys there are so many racetracks all across the u.s small ones like this and then you do the big ones uh, for the huge uh, kind of national series which is pretty sweet here but a lot of kind of saturday night uh, friday night races do happen at these small local tracks here one thing wow look at that uh, there is a lot of cleanup to do looks like there's just a lift i'm surprised it's not inside we we don't have permission to go in there but we'll just keep walking around you guys and see all this has to be mowed this is like four or five Five hours worth of mowing. Let's see. Look at the racetrack now. The racetrack's in pretty good shape. I'm actually surprised there's not much grown in the track here, but wow, there is a lot here. Maybe, maybe we'll get the uh, job to clean this on up. I think that would be a pretty fun thing here, but we gotta keep going. Uh, so let's hop on the Kubota here. We have a lot, of, a lot of work to do on the Kubota. All right, let's get the Kubota unstrapped here. There's only a few straps on it. I really only need uh, kind of the four uh, point strap down here. And uh, let's get the beacon light. Let's get everything going here. Now, if you guys do want to see more landscaping videos, some time lapse videos, I highly recommend you go check out Square Farms. I am posting every so often over there as well. And once summer comes, we'll be doing a lot here. So really not much to do with the bucket. I don't really see any trees falling, really anything there. But I really want to get started kind of working out at and around the racetrack then kind of work on the entrance area there's just so much we got to do and this is going to be a pretty fun one here for us as well but like i did touch upon guys let me know what is your favorite type of video and i hope everyone is starting off their week great uh these mondays um i are so much fun here definitely want to kind of do monday mowing videos i think that would be pretty cool here but we got it up to 4 p.m here really going to be putting a lot of work lots of hours on the Kubota but another thing guys it is still a little chilly although we are having some warm spring days today's only 50 and with a little bit of wind that definitely uh, is a sweatshirt weather is probably the best way to put it and we got heat in, and AC in here when needed which is pretty sweet here but we're gonna, just gonna keep going I think this should be a pretty quick and easy area now our landscaping business has been doing pretty good so far here we are books that means uh, that's a pretty good problem to have uh, when people want uh, you to kind of help on out, clean up their properties, do work, and you just cannot fit them in the schedule. So I guess that's awesome. Maybe we just have to hire on more hands, expand the fleet of equipment, because the equipment is always put to work here, and definitely would also like to get some more. So we're gonna have to look into things like that here. But overall, guys, I'm so excited. Now this summer, guys, I do have some plans to do a full live uh, farming series, some other cool ones as well, which I am pretty excited for. But one thing, guys, with a huge, huge, loader on the front like this with the bucket as well it's pretty hard to maneuver in these small tight areas and we did just put a small ding and dent on it hopefully we don't end up hitting any rocks but there is a lot of debris around wow it definitely needs to be cleaned on up now let me know down below in the comments guys if you have been to any uh, kind of racetracks before. I've been to quite a few and they are pretty cool seeing the cars ripping around and let's see, let's see, we'll just kind of keep going here. So it would be pretty cool to get the contract. Maybe I'll talk to the owner uh, when he sends us the uh, 
paycheck. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do here. Get it cleaned on up, looking good for him, and see those vehicles ripping around here. Maybe we might just have to look for our own race car. That would be a pretty sweet thing here. But we're just about done with this, and uh, the, this is kind of the main piece getting this uh, down. It's probably like almost two feet high in some areas, it seems. The Kubota has been doing a pretty good job so far. Now I am just making sure the temperatures are good on it. But so far guys, this has been a ton of fun. Now usually with my videos now, I do bring a few extra GoPros. Even a drone now with a tripod, things like that. So you guys are seeing some pretty neat things, pretty unique. And I just really do enjoy giving you guys all these different perspectives as well. But we did mow around this track a few times. And now it's just really going to be uh, mainly this side of the property. But so far guys, the brush mower has been doing a pretty good job now I did hit a few kind of twigs and sticks around the property they did I uh, just kind of break into pieces kind of go uh, everywhere but I don't think that's too uh, big of a deal there but you guys can see so far doing a pretty good job maybe we could even do uh, some new gravel for them uh, kind of get this cleaned on up here but we got that side done it's mainly only this side here and uh, we might do a pass or two on the road side not sure about that I think he said only inside the fencing which is no problem for us probably a bit safer I think actually the, the uh, public works uh, takes care of that main area now I do like to schedule a brush mowing job every once or twice a month here. These are a lot of fun. Trying uh, kind of a change of pace from the zero turns. And I will say guys, today is a ton of fun here. Exploring an abandoned racetrack like this. There's not too many opportunities. And when we do get a job like this, we do have to make money on the job uh, like we usually do. But it's always fun to get uh, these types of jobs here. And just kind of keep working and expanding our company to different things is also going to be a pretty good thing here. Now one thing guys, having the turf tires I think is really helping out on the Kubota we aren't really tearing it up which is a pretty good thing as well now it's probably not the best grass but it's, it's better than having probably uh, dirt all over the property and I'm thinking guys we'll probably try to use the Kubota more for these brush mowing videos because I will say guys this is a little bit easier to operate it's a little bit quieter and I think I just prefer the uh, tractor for these types of jobs but I'm going to be finishing up here off camera then calling it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's landscaping video it was a ton of fun and I can't wait for what's to come but thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.